Okay, so we are going to look at two commonly asked questions here, specifically around policy loans, which are as follows. We have, how much can I borrow? And when can I take a loan? Good questions. So let's begin with how much can I borrow? Here it is. Typically, I can borrow anywhere between 90 and 98% of whatever my cash value is. Some companies will allow you at times to go up to 100%, but as far as a general range is concerned, typically between about 90 and 98%. Sometimes it might be a, a point higher or a point or two lower, but that is a good general range. If you really wanna be conservative and set expectations properly, whatever I have in cash value, typically I can borrow 90, maybe up to 95%, but if you peg it at 90, hard to be disappointed of whatever you have in, in net cash value. Why it's such a range, by the way, is I'm not referring just to one insurance company here. All insurance companies have different rules and such. Here we're gonna to touch on items to consider. The insurance company, obviously, as I just mentioned. And a big thing here is, is the loan interest build up front. So we're gonna to touch on this in more detail in another video, but some companies will bill my loan interest up front. What that means is if I have a $10,000 loan with a 5% loan rate, 5% of 10K is $500. Some companies will bill the full $500 up front. So day one, my loan balance is 10,500. Now it doesn't mean all of the interest has accrued that fast, but they will withhold that and that will impact the amount I can borrow up front. So that will kick me down closer to the 90%, or I should say to the lower end range. Whereas companies don't, that don't do that, I might be able to borrow slightly more. I know that can be a little bit confusing. If that was confusing, feel free to reach out with questions. Now, when can I take a loan? That's, that's a good question. Usually anytime. I do not like using the word usually, by the way. I do prefer to be precise because I like when people are precise with me. But why I state usually any time is again, depends on the company and the contract language with the specific life insurance policy I purchased. For the most part, you'll see a lot of consistencies with contract language within different products. And even when I look at it from company to company, when we've read through contracts, whether they're older contracts or newer contracts, you do tend to see a lot of consistencies, they're never identical for the most part, but there are a lot of similarities, a lot of consistencies. But with that said, this will determine when I can take a loan if there are certain provisions within my contract language that prevent me from taking a policy loan. One example could be, does the insurance company I've selected allow for first year policy loans? Some companies don't, some do. On the agent side of the business, what you will find as if you look at a core product memo, for example, with any insurance company, is you'll find in the literature that these products with this insurance company does allow or does permit first year policy loans. If you don't see it there, you definitely want to ask, or you can ask our office if you use our training program, our agent training program that is. But from the consumer side, does the company allow first year loans? If they don't, well then that means what? We have to wait at least one year before we can take a policy loan. One side piece of, of additional information is you'll see this actually common with a lot of survivorship policies. So if I take a single life, a basic whole life insurance policy and I juice it for cash value, a lot of companies will allow me to take a loan within that first year. However, you will find a provision that most survivorship policies, not all of them, but most, do not allow for policy loans to be taken within the first policy year. If I make a payment, so specifically here, if I make a PUA payment, which accelerates the cash value growth, I see it in cash right away, begins to accelerate the growth, looks good, accelerates my death benefit as well, typically there's going to be approximately a 10 business day, I've got 10 day turnaround, but to be clear, 10 business day turnaround that the company wants to see before we turn around and borrow the money out. Now, does it always make sense to pay money in and then immediately borrow it out? 
No, usually not because when I first make that payment, I do see a negative hit on my cash value. But again, it, it depends on our reasoning, of course, and what we're trying to accomplish. But typically there is a 10 day turnaround, meaning if I make a payment today, or let's start here actually, if I take a new policy out and I dump in $100,000 in PUA, let's just say my net cash value is $100,000 on day one. I cannot on day two turn around and borrow from it. I mean, I can request the loan, but usually what we've seen happen is a lot of insurance companies will come back and say, hold up, we'd like to wait 10 business days to make sure that the individual's funds have cleared their bank account. They like to play conservative. Now, one way to override that is if we show a bank statement or something like that stating, hey, it did clear my account, we're in the clear here, the insurance company usually will accept that. This again depends on the insurance company, but they're, they're always playing this cautious, which makes sense. Now here's a good point. If we have an existing policy, let's say I already have $50,000 in cash value. Maybe I've had it in there for a year, however long, beyond 10 days. And I wanna access money. I can access that 50K no problem. Now, if I add another $50,000 today and I want to borrow out $30,000 tomorrow, I can do that because I had 50 in to start. Now, if I add 50 in today, so now my total cash value, call it would be 100K, and I want to borrow out 80K tomorrow, can't do that because I had 50 in there, but the new money going in, whenever new money goes in, that's where I can potentially run into that 10 day turnaround where the company, they're really protecting themselves or they say, hey, we wanna make sure it clears the bank account. The reason why they do that is likely because they've run into issues where they accepted the money, they turned around and loaned it out. We haven't had a case like this to my knowledge, but that happened and then the funds bounced from the bank account, the company's gotta go chase the individual down saying, hey, the funds didn't clear. It's just kind of messy. So that's where they have that 10 day turnaround provision. And a nice little side note is if we show a bank statement, which could be the next day. That is a nice way to bypass that or accelerate it because we're giving proof from our bank to the insurance company, hey, the fund's cleared, I'm good to go. So those are two commonly asked questions. Hope you enjoyed, more to come. Hey guys, Steve Parisi here. If you enjoyed the content you just saw, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. If you'd like more information or to see some custom policies for yourself, feel free to call or email our offices at the contact information below.